Now, years ago, I never really understood the whole concept of DLA. What's the story of the whole game and everything that everybody has went through and all that sort of stuff. I just played it because sexy women were beating each other ass and it was introduced to me at that point in time where I'm like, damn, they find us hell. Let me see what else we can do with this. That is to say, I always been curious about what the actual story is. Like, why do these people, you know, fight? What What is the characters behind these stories? And it definitely goes into an unhinged and definitely crazy ass direction I was not necessarily expecting at all. Like, hell, the first thing I thought about the story when it comes down to just characters was that I thought Hayate was honestly the boyfriend of Kasumi and, you know, Ayane was definitely just some jealous ass bitch on the but when it comes down to it, they're actually all related, so that theory would have been a little bit crazy, but still nonetheless, you know, people are gonna draw that anyway. And speaking of those siblings, one of my favorite characters in the entirety of DOA is Ayane, because I absolutely like her design, I absolutely like how she just feels as a character. To be honest, her playstyle is hella fun. I don't necessarily mind anything of what she does in terms of gameplay and movement. And so when it comes down to learning the lore and story behind any of these characters, Ayane was the one I wanted to learn about the most. Because of anybody, she the finest one. So of course I want to learn the most about her. So imagine my surprise when I end up finding out about a video that someone made about the entirety of DLA's history, which I'll put a link in the description. And when it comes down to it, you end up figuring out exactly what Ayane actually is. Ayane is an instigator. She is literally the equivalent of a hood bitch, but Japanese, honestly. She's the type of person that's basically get into fights for literal misunderstandings, not want to necessarily deal with any type of nonsense that anybody has to say because she just believes she's correct and just feels justified to be that way. Like, I always knew Ayane was a little too angry for no reason, but she hella angry for absolutely all kinds of reasons. Now to fully understand why Ayane is this angry ass hood bitch that honestly feel like she'll fit into any black neighborhood on some very much lethal shit cause she also ninja as hell, we have to go back to the past. Why does Ayane hate everything? Well, very simple, because as I said before in the beginning, they are all basically siblings, Hayate, Kasumi, and Ayane. The only difference is Kasumi and Hayate were birthed via like an actual good healthy relationship. Ayane on the other hand, not so much. One of the other elders of the village that was exiled or basically exiled himself, Raido came through and said, hmm, my best friend basically had some nice ass time with his wife. Perhaps I should go in and give her some McDonald wraps for her work and proceed to forcefully clap her cheeks and boom, that's how Ayane was conceived. And obviously, with everybody figuring that out in the village of that's how Ayane came to be, Soon after everybody just said, yeah, we ain't effing with you, little girl. Go ahead, go somewhere with that shit. So that's why she's basically angry as hell all the time. She was abandoned by literally the entire village and quite literally, at least at one point, by her own damn mother when it comes down to it. And the only person that was really effing with Ayane like that was Hayate. That's literally the only person. So with that whole village basically just basically shitting on her for something that's not even her fault, she grew up angry, bitter, and hella resent the shit out of Kasumi just because she has everything in life that she always wanted and that she felt like she deserved. Which, again, understandable, but hot damn did she go through a lot of shit. And this is how we get into the famous rivalry of Ayane and Kasumi with Ayane wanting to kill Kasumi all the doggone time. Like literally their hatred knows no type of bound honestly. Which is how things kind of popped off the first day of time. When the whole DOA tournament was about to happen and stuff and Kasumi needed to go to handle some business. But Ayane was like nah I'm gonna just body you here right now. Proceeds to escape that situation and Kasumi is on this damn boat you think oh shit alright she's on this yacht everything is fine you know she's about to go ahead and handle her business as the day of the tournament and look who pulls up. This bitch Ayane. She just like oh by the way we found some damn tickets. I'm still gonna kill your ass just because and it's just on some nonsense you have to be this much of a hater just to go fight her like this and <laughs> Ayane is honestly just just absolutely amazing and keep in mind this is not the first and last time this will happen where she'll just probably find Kasumi in unexpected places and just to whoop her ass for absolutely no reason she did this shit with her in a forest and later on you'll see another place where she did this shit too I mean 
mean, at one point, she even ran into another unexpected place where she ran into Kasumi in hell. Literal hell. I'm not even joking. She literally got bodied in hell when it came down to, you know, finding Kasumi again. Granted, this is not the very same Kasumi that we all know and love, but still, nonetheless, it's a version of Kasumi as a whole. Which gets into the whole reason why DOA Tech and, you know, the corporation basically want to start doing some nonsense with him and doing their evil plans and I ain't gonna get into all that. All you need to know is Hayate is in their hands and essentially he does escape and essentially finds this girl Hatomi who ends up help training him get back his you know groove back into fighting and stuff. Keep this bitch in mind here. All you need to really know is that Hayate is definitely a well respected person within the Mugen Tenshin village. So much so that I believe in DOA 3, they end up actually about to get this man the role of leadership I guess over the whole damn clan. But the only reason why he can't accept it is because Kasumi is still out there and is a runaway ninja at the point, right? So when it comes down to it, Ayane hating ass being exactly in the room was like, oh hell nah, let that bitch go ahead and die. Matter of fact, I believe that she's in cahoots with the people that runs the DOA tournament and trying to be on some bullshit. Ayane strikes again with the hating ass energy, but then something happens that no one really expected. She actually has something coming to her that I didn't even think was possible and absolutely humbled her ass for once in her damn life. Hayate slaps the shit out of her, which is absolutely amazing. Bitch looks like she never been slapped before by anybody. Like look at her effing face, she looks like What the fuck is we doing? But rightfully so, Hayate, kind of, rightfully so slapped the shit out of Ayane because he was like, yo, Kasumi's not gonna do this bullshit, get out this bullshit ass idea of what you're trying to think Kasumi would do, because that's not how my sister would do some shit. And this must have done something fierce to Ayane, honestly, because this ends up making her want to off herself because she didn't necessarily think that Hayate cared for her anymore, which... <laughs> what? I mean, that is a wild and ass jump that's a hella dramatic ass jump like maybe reflect on your life so far to be like hmm what could i possibly have done to deserve getting slapped maybe it's because i won't shut the hell up and just be on some instigating nonsense so maybe that's why okay maybe i should start talking less but no she's like let me just off myself because this boy don't like me no more like dude what in the absolute hell? Thankfully, she got talked down by her own mother, which, to be perfectly honest, kind of accepted her finally, which is some nice stuff. So basically, she finally, you know, calms the hell down, and Hayate and her just on the mission to go, you know, deal with all this whole situation of Doa Tech, Kasumi, and everything in between. So they end up getting on this damn yacht to further their mission, only to run into Hitomi that happens, I guess, to be working at that same yacht. And essentially, Hitomi obviously remembers Hayate because, again, they was kind of nursing him back to health at the dojo that her father was running. And that's just kind of how it was. And the only thing that Hayate would think about or say, really, is Kasumi's name over and over again. So Hitomi, thinking that, oh, the person with the purple hair right next to him must be Kasumi, right? So basically, she just assumes that's Kasumi. That, you know, genuine misunderstanding on Hitomi's part. She doesn't know that Ayane existed, and to be perfectly honest, Hayate never really mentioned her at all. And what does our lovely purple hair chick does? She immediately gets up and is like, oh, you're trying to have a misunderstanding here. I right, then. Let me show you why I'm not her, but I am her. Like, bro. <laughs> Ayane, calm the absolute hell down. Ain't no way I try to fight like that. It's literally a misunderstanding. And then Ayane proceeds to whoop her ass for a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Bruh, I tell you what, she's literally from the hood, man. There is no effing way. How you take what you would think with that damn slap would honestly humble the hell out of her. But no, nah, it's like, oh, well, I can still just be a raging asshole anyway, just because. And that's literally how this shit went, honestly. Honestly, I can't tell who's worse in this situation. It could be Ayane for just whooping the poor girl's ass, or Hayate for not doing shit and just basically watching this shit pop off. But to kind of quickly wrap all this stuff up though, she ends up basically chasing after, again, Kasumi in different locations. And you remember that time where I say it's gonna get a little bit more ridiculous about the locations? Well, Kasumi is in the Antarctic for some reason, and so is Ayane for again, what reason? Honestly, it's so weird. Why are you in the Arctic trying to fight this one bitch? You could wait till she gets to some actual like 
nice temperature, warm ass temperature, dry land. Like, bro, what the hell are you on? Like, how much of a hater do you gotta be to go to the damn Antarctic just to go fight your own op because you don't like the ass? Like, bitch, this is the equivalent of Boo going to heaven and whooping the hell out of dead people. Like, this don't make no type of sense. And the last thing that she really did a major note was that she whooped Elliot you know this guy who is not Leo from Tekken 8 and essentially just what this guy's ass because he was being too damn humble like what, what literally he was like uh master I don't know if I can actually fight these people like that these are ninjas after all and so Ayane proceeds to slap the shit out of this man and be like you a bitch and I bet you sleep with a nightlight on I'm like Ayane, chill! He didn't do nothing to you! How are you friends with a half of these people in the cast? Because you go into the damn beach every time summer comes around. How do you how do you come through, be on some volleyball shit, and yet for some reason you proceed to be on some whiny ass bullshit when you get back to the main canon? It doesn't make any type of sense. I bet you're not even like this in Ninja Gaiden for crying out loud. Like, come on, dude. And to be honest, in regards to the story, that's kind of where Ayane kind of ends for her you know instigating the ass behavior like granted you know she does continue to be somewhat of an asshole and still when it comes down to things she ends up having like a major plot point where she ends up bringing back Rido again because she got kidnapped at one point in time but we ain't here to talk about all that we just want to talk about how Ayane is an instigating angry asshole and you know what the crazy part is too with everything that's happened all the stuff that's came through Kasumi don't even hate Ayane like that too. And deep down, Ayane don't even hate Kasumi like that. It's just a lot of shit that they just gotta, you know, sit down and actually work out, not with their fists for once, but with talking words. And if DOA is really gonna get the unfortunate reboot like they're planning to maybe do at some point in the future with Team Ninja, then I can only imagine or at least hope that Ayane's instigating angry ass nature don't necessarily change because it's honestly hilarious as shit.